And let me tell you about a block party taking place at Bender's Gym this weekend. It's actually, it's a blood drive. It's going to be August 27th, so get down there for the blood drive, and they're going to have food and goodies and fun. All right. Speaking of lots more fun, if you were... Y'all, what is it about goat stew, Sheriff, that <laughs> Limestone County is just... They, you know, anytime there's a goat being killed, somebody's eating it. Well, I don't know. Used to, everybody had goats. When I grew up uh, across the river, and everybody, 4th of July, they always had goat stew on the 4th of July. I mean, that was just a, a ritual. And, of course, a lot of people don't know how to cook goat. So, I mean, you know, people that's eating it and didn't like it, it was probably because uh, the people that cooked it didn't know what they were doing. But, you know, Boss Hill did that for how many years? I don't know. You know, we might ought to call this the Boss Hill Memorial Stew Cook. Well, you know, you I know. check with his yeah. family and ask them about it. You that. talked to me about this a couple years ago when Boss was in bad health. We got a little video off from a couple years ago. I mean, it all looks the same. Uh, if y'all see somebody that ain't living no more, it's, you I'm know, sorry. it's just because they were at this event. But, I mean, he would draw hundreds and hundreds that first Wednesday of May every year. You know, I know you were at every. You've been at every. Oh one. yeah, it was always. Uh, my dad and I used to used to do that uh, years ago, back uh, uh, in the, the 70s. We we, we had uh, big uh, stew once a year, and uh, of course, it got to where it, was, it took up so much time. There's a lot of work involved in doing that. But I mean, you said you know you were going to do something like this, and now you've got this idea. You're going to do it the same weekend. As the fiddlers come out, I talked to Rick Mo yesterday, right, and, I, and he's talked to you about this. Yeah. You went with him. Yeah, yeah. This is not something to compete with the fiddlers' convention. I think it may help uh, because people come from all over into Athens for fiddlers' convention, and the more things going on in Athens, I think would, will help enhance it. Make sure those people come back, and uh, hopefully, some people that'll come for our stew cook-off will go on by the fiddlers' convention and enjoy the rest of the afternoon out there. But this is something that's on on uh, October the eighth. Uh, people can enter, anybody, uh, hopefully a lot of the fire departments will enter teams. I've already got a lot of people that plan on entering. We've got three categories. One is chicken, one is goat, and one is potluck. The potluck, they can cook anything, <laughs> uh, turkey, deer, beef, whatever they want. Have judges for each category. be a $250 cash prize for each category plus a trophy. Cost $50 per team to enter, and they can prepare it either on site or off site. They just mm -hmm. have to have it ready to start serving at, at 11 o'clock that Saturday morning. Now, you'll have judges also. Have judges. There it is, right here. Matter of fact, we'll have some of the best judges, people that's had a lot of experience eating goat stew. All right, now <laughs> you're starting it with a yard sale on Friday. Friday and Saturday, a person uh, can come out and, and set up their wares and have, have a yard sale. We will have plats drawn off about 20 foot by 20 foot uh, area there for 10 bucks. Starting on the driveway when start, you turn it. Starting down, down Highway 99 inside the fence. We'll have, we'll have about 50 uh, different booth locations set up. If someone wants to pay $10, they've got that same location for Friday and Saturday. Uh, and that's one of the best places in the world to have a yard sale. I've had a couple out there myself, and uh, you got a lot of traffic there on 99 plus with this being advertised. And folks want to get rid of uh, a lot of stuff. Winter coming on, buying their new winter clothes. Right. Or just come on out there and, and uh, set up. But you can contact the sheriff's office and go ahead and pre pre. Uh, Purchase your your location that you want. We'll have them drawn off on a. When can you set up on your yard sale stuff? That Thursday. You can set up Thursday, or you can come out there and set up at midnight, or whatever you want to do. I mean, and, and that's for th th uh, Friday and Saturday. That's only ten dollars. It's only ten dollars. That covers both days. That's now, can people come day. in to the yard sale free? They come in the yard sale free. And then the people that come in to taste the stew, we're going to charge 10 bucks. They can taste everybody's stew, and plus they'll get them a bowl to go around and get whichever they like the best. We furnish the crackers. And similar the, to the chili the, challenge, the way. Yeah, it, kind of uh, similar to that. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, will, it, will goat, chicken, stew be for sale? There are also what's left. We'll, we'll have uh, quart containers out there. They don't even have to worry about bringing their container. They can come out there and purchase it. Oh, <laughs> so everything's like that. You got big plans for out there, evidently. You're making that a regular convention center, aren't well, you? Well, I mean, you know, it stays busy. It's, as a matter of fact, uh, people, uh, uh, we're having to replace uh, the carpet there in our building that we rent out all the time. We'll, uh, there's, we use it for training. Uh, we have a, a driver's uh, school out there for people that uh, from court are sentenced to a driver's school. So now, won't there be a rodeo out there once a month? Uh, no, 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 no. Rodeo's out there. Right. No, I'm talking year. about this uh, ranch rodeo thing that the guy no, did. No, they, they're not doing them out there this year. Okay. They did them last year, but they're not right. doing. He them told out me he was going to do them out there once a month. I think they uh, went to Ardmore to do. Oh, that. okay. 
All right, but yeah, your big road in 30th, that comes, the 30th annual comes up in yeah. May, but we'll talk, have we, another we, time We're talk really about excited that. about that, but we really want people to come out and participate in our, our stew cook-off. It's something that I think they'll enjoy. Uh, people, uh, you know, people love to buy a stew. It's, uh, uh, come on out and, and purchase some, take home with them, or come in and sample it, and come out and do the yard sale. Mm -hmm. Half, 50% uh, of all the proceeds is going to Council on Aging. The reason why we decided to go ahead and do this uh, this year as a lady from Council on Aging called me, they're needing to uh, uh, raise some money to pay for some buses that they're leasing to take the seniors up to Nashville to ride the General Jackson. So, okay. so we're going to give half the money to, to Can the Can I ask Council you a personal Aging. question? Yes, sir. Why is it you don't have any gray hair? <laughs> I do. Look here. I can see. But it. clean living. And you're about 10 years older than I. Clean living has a lot to do with it. <laughs> clean living, yeah. That's exactly yeah. Right. You're about 10 years older than I am. I, <laughs> yeah, my daddy never did turn gray headed. Get out. Well, That's amazing. Well, he, he lived to be 86. When I met I'll him, never make it that far, but I mean. <laughs> I didn't have gray hair either. Mine was dyed. You did know. When I met you, you were Look at Patrick that. English. He's 20 something. He's already got a head full of gray hair over there. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Yeah, credibility, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. All right, Sheriff, anything we need to know no. about Limestone County Sheriff's Department? Oh, Lord, we've been busy. And uh, I mean, it's been, uh, it's been a very busy year. It's been a very productive year. We've made lots of cases, solved a lot of cases. We've had, the, this past few weeks, we've been busy resting folks. For thefts and burglaries, are unreal. So I mean, yeah. if you're out there thinking about stealing something, you better not. Or you're gonna go to jail. Good. How's the meth problem here? Decatur Daily did the a great article. The meth meth problem is uh, like it is everywhere else. That is something. Bad. You know, when I first became sheriff, as about the time that crack cocaine hit us, and crack cocaine really is something that we're still suffering from uh, from that epidemic that hit us back in the mid '80s. But uh, crystal meth is something that uh, probably is as bad a scourge as the crack cocaine was because we have so many people that, that it just seems like we're making a case about every day on a meth lab. I don't know why they call them meth labs because it's just a uh, big uh, two-liter bottle <laughs> most of the time with some <laughs> chemicals poured in it. But, but uh, we, we're staying right, we're right busy doing that. Don't hold it against him. He's drinking a, drink, a soft drink in here this morning, Dr. Coleman. Pepsi, they sponsor our rodeo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and they're they a sponsor, sponsor on this program, too. yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you, Chef. All the way. Tell Debbie we said hello. And, uh, uh, well, she just got back from the beach. And she's going to see y'all Tuesday. All right. Y'all's auction is in two weeks. Oh, yes. We have an auction <laughs> on the 10th of September. It's a lot of confiscated property. We've got, if you need you a motorcycle, we've got uh -oh. some Harleys. we got some. What about the Hummer? Is it still there? The Hummer is, is we're not going to be able to sell it. Okay. We've got a crotch rocket. We've got. We uh, crotch uh, rocket, okay. Yeah, one of them <laughs> Funny motorcycles. We got some pickup <laughs> trucks. We got some cars. We go have some computer equipment. We got a whole bunch of stuff that will. And I think Brian Jones has cleaned all the pictures off his wall. He gonna sell them out there too. So we we'll we have we'll have a that uh, car he drives is funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> all this takes place down at the sheriff's office. It'll be at the rodeo rodeo arena. arena okay. Yeah, we, we're having it out there. It starts at nine o'clock September the tenth. And uh, come on out if you need you a good deal on a car or a motorcycle. Uh, I think you'll find that we've got some really nice stuff. You know, uh, we've been resting mm -hmm. some more upscaled up dealers. So they, a little bit better than some of them. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff. Yeah, I'd like you to get them upscale criminals. Uh, we got to take a break. Coleman Dental Group joins us next. We're coming right. up on a Friday morning. Y'all hang on. <laughs>